I'm gonna also show you here for a second. Um, this piece right here. This is the uh, lens support device that I have made for my camera setup. Now since the cam since when you put the 35 millimeter adapter and excuse me and lenses on the camera, you're adding quite a lot of weight onto the threads there. And it's a good idea to relieve uh, that weight, otherwise you could potentially damage the threads on the front of your camera since they're basically plastic. Um, I'm, I built this from a, a Telesyn box, which I had just lying around in my basement uh, by chance. Um, if you don't know what Telesyn box is, basically. To be honest, it didn't work so well, so I decided to take it apart, uh, rearrange the parts, and build this, uh, this particular uh, support system. Um, so how this works, um, I, can, I can show you here. Um, the camera, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you afterwards uh, the whole setup once it's all together. Um, but there's a platform here, if you can see this. And there's a hole in the center for, for the tripod mount for the camera to screw it into. Um, there's a pad, a pad on here, and this piece here uh, raises up. So I just raise it up like that, uh, place the camera on the, on the platform, I tighten the screw to, to put the camera in place, and then I just lower it. And once I have the lettuce, once I have the lettuce adapter on the front of the lens here, it will rest. It will rest on this uh, on this little platform at the front here, and I strap it in with this piece of Velcro. And I can adjust the length of this as well, depending on how how long the adapter is. And there's a handle on the bottom as well. This is actually a barbecue handle, <laughs> which uh, worked quite well. It's a nice ABS. It's pretty strong. I put a bolt up through it, cut a piece of ABS tubing to actually serve as the lens support. And then, you know, I've got a nice grip on the front there. On the bottom of this adapter, uh, you'll see there's a tripod uh, mounting plate, which is bolted onto the bottom here. Um, and I can just slide this right into my tripod and, and take it off whenever I need to so it's an instant, um, you know, quick release type of, type of platform, uh, which is very handy. Um, if I want to go shoulder mounted with this, it's, it's very easy to do that. I'm going to be building a shoulder rest for it that's a little more comfortable, but you can go uh, shoulder mounted uh, with this adapter, with this uh, piece as well. So in a few in a few moments, I'm going to show you the full setup and exactly how it looks with the the lettuce adapter on it and the lens support system on my tripod. One of the important things uh, with using adapters um, like this is that your focus is very precise, especially with high definition. Um, high definition alone needs to be more precisely focused than standard definition video um, because there's more, there's more visual information there and if it's off, people will notice it more. Um, as you can kind of see from the monitor here, um, this is this is an LCD uh, monitor that I use as as a field monitor. Um, it has uh, high definition inputs to connect my camera to. Um, so I, I always will will be using this on the field when I'm shooting any footage. Uh, the reason for that is because you'll see on the camera here um, there's a little a little screen there that's about I don't know three and a half inches wide or so. Or Two and a half, or whatever, um, and it's really, it's really not ideal for focusing. The camera also has a zoom feature, which lets you zoom in on the image you're trying to focus on, get your precise focus, and then zoom back out again, um, which is very useful. Even with the lettuce adapter, is useful to use that feature. Um, but with the adapter on, you need to be even more careful with focus because your image is only like, in some cases, your image is only going to be. Uh, in focus for a few centimeters of, of actual area. So you might, you might if, if the person moves even a couple centimeters um, in or out of the frame, they're going to be out of focus. So if you're not right on, people will notice it and it will look uh, very sloppy. Um, if you're trying to operate the camera yourself, um, trying to operate the focus on the, uh, on the 35 millimeter lenses can be very difficult. 
Uh, because it has to be so precise, um, the best thing to do is to have someone else focus for you. Um, called, they're called a focus puller. And um, on the lens here, um, since this is a physical focus, um, you can take a white, a white pencil and mark on the lens your different uh, focus points. So say you're, say you're doing a, a rack focus where you have your, your, your main subject in the foreground in focus and then you wanna, wanna have the, what's behind them in focus, you can mark your starting point on the lens, on, on the lens right there, and then mark your finishing point where your, where your focus ends on the lens so that when you actually go to focus you can just look at the lens go from the first point to the second point smoothly and you know that you're in precise focus from beginning to end. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this right now and I'll just show you um, the full setup uh, of the camera and I'll also show you some clips. Uh, a little later on I'm also going to show you how to do a basic uh, blue screen setup to um, remove the background from a subject to put them any place that you'd like to. Um, I'm also going to show you a short clip um, uh, of, a of a monologue that I performed called Spartacus um, which I demonstrate uh, this camera recording against a blue screen keying out the background to put myself basically in a Roman Colosseum. Um, like in, in the ancient times. So it's pretty cool what you can do with this stuff. The most important thing though, um, of course, for Christian filmmakers is, that you're, is really that you're walking with God and that you're sensitive to His Spirit as, as you're filmmaking um, and that you're doing things that are honoring to Him and not, not basically reproducing the garbage that Hollywood puts out there. So um, I'm going to switch over now and show you exactly what this setup looks like and then we'll go into the blue screening uh, uh, technology that I talked about. Okay, thank you for watching this and I hope that God blesses every one of you. Remote control, where are you? Did anyone see where I left my remote? Oh, here it is.